Allez, ma gauche, c'est dans le coup, il faut. Britain is full. There is no room at the end. The facts are this. We no longer have enough room for our own people. We don't have room for legal migrants. We don't have room for refugees. And we don't have room for illegal migrants. And yet lefty loons continue to live in denial. The House of Lords, who some think are just a group of out-of-touch old duffers on the taxpayer-funded take, live in denial. Part of the benefit of being an island is that we can pull up the drawbridge. We have a natural moat around us. We should be doing just that instead of rolling out the red carpet across the channel and indeed to everybody else. At least 271,000 people are homeless in England today. That includes 123,000 children. What do you think about the narrative at the moment to people crossing the channel? How do you think that we should be tackling the small boats crisis? I'm just quite simple, refugees welcome. Hello, I'm here on Chair Street, Liverpool City Centre on this busy, windy Wednesday afternoon. There's a lot going on. The screenshot of the front says it all. Let's keep the liver birds flying over Liverpool. You see, what's happened to London is no more Cockney Sparrows fly over London. London has been culturally changed into a completely different uh, place. Right. That's self-evident in the video you've just watched. The people in the video, I'm sure, are good, nice, law-abiding, God-fearing people, but that's not the issue here. That part of London is no longer a cockney neighbourhood in the true sense of the word. It's gone. It's been changed. It's been culturally changed. It's lost its culture, identity, character, everything. And it's been replaced by something completely different. Now, we see the same happening here in our glorious city. We see Kensington and Fairfield being changed. It's losing its character, identity and culture, and it's being replaced by something completely different. Something that represents an outpost uh, somewhere else in the world. Now, we can't allow this to happen. We must oppose this, and we oppose this at the ballot box in elections by standing in elections not demonstrating or marching that's not going to achieve anything you can have the odd demo the odd uh, march or whatever but to make your point but that can't be the end result you have to stand in elections that's the way forward there's a hotel in uh, wales clanelli i think it is local residents uh, uh, being protesting outside yeah it's great you've made your point the thing to do now is to get a candidate ready and vote those out that are not supporting the wishes of the vast majority uh, of people in that community that's what you have to do you can march and demonstrate you can get into arguments with the police or whatever the security at the hotel and people get hot-headed and lose the temper i understand but it's not going to achieve anything you've got to vote these people out anyway back to liverpool we see in our glorious city cultural change underway now. It is changing Kensington and Fairfield, large parts of Waverty. It's also beginning with Kubrew, Colt Swan, Anfield and many other Scouse neighbourhoods in Liverpool. They are being changed and they will end up like the uh, culturally changed parts of London. The video you've just watched, like I've said, I'm sure them people are God-fearing, Laura Biden. Uh, citizens but that is not the point that's not the issue the issue is we have to re we have to keep our scouse culture our scouse character our scouse identity it cannot be replaced with what you've just watched in the video they can't be the new scousers they are not they never will be they're there and it's just so incompatible as i've said i'm sure those people are nice god-fearing people but that is not the issue, like I've said. The issue here is that part of London and many other parts has lost its cockney character, identity, culture. It's lost the whole lot. It has been changed into an outpost of the third world.
So again, I make this video, I bring this message to the good people of Liverpool because we have to oppose fear the cultural change of our glorious city. At the moment, there is not one politician, councillor or MP that opposes cultural transformation of our glorious city. If they do, they remain silent and say nothing because they know their career depends on it. So they're just going to remain silent. So they may as well join the chorus of Ian Bain and the rest of them shouting refugees welcome because saying nothing is just the same it's getting very busy now uh, so as i say i hope you understand where i'm coming from this is not about prejudice it's not about animosity towards anyone i'm just trying to explain and show to the good people of this city the end result of cultural change and what it means you've just watched it in that video right that that is not cockney it's not scouse right and we don't want it in our city right small amounts of new arrivals there's not a problem but when you get large amounts where it changes that community that area that town that city into something completely different then that's a different case also small video at the end regarding the uh, migration uh, guy talking about the country's full so there you go okay thank you